morning everyone so today i will do faraday's laws of electrolysis as we have done uh, in last class we have done electrolysis based on that electrolysis one of the scientists called faraday faraday gave some laws there are two laws of faraday one is called faraday's first law and one is called faraday's second law so first time i will do faraday's first law according to faraday's first law the statement i'll give you according to this law the amount of the amount of substance deposit or liberated at any electrode at any electrode is directly proportional is directly proportional to the amount of electricity passed through the passed through the electrolytic solution this is about the first law according to this law the amount of substance deposited or liberated actually if the substance is solid then we use the word deposit and if the substance is gas then we use the word liberate according to this law the amount of substance deposited or liberated at any electrode is directly proportional to the amount of electricity pass through the electrolytic solution that means yesterday as we have done suppose this is one of the electrolytic solution here you have to dip two electrode the electrode should be connected with the battery like this way after passing electricity a positive ions will be deposit at the cathode and the negative ions will deposit at the anode as you have got now here if the positive ion is a plus ion a will be deposit here and if the negative ion is b minus then b will deposit here now according to this law according to this first law how much a will deposit here or how much b will deposit at the anode it mainly depends upon how much electricity you have passed through the solution that means if you pass more electricity more amount of substance you can deposit Similarly, if you pass less amount of electricity, less amount of substance will deposit. So this is according to the first law, the amount of substance deposited or liberated at any electrode is directly proportional to the amount of electricity passed through the electrolytic solution. I mean, if you want to deposit more amount of substance, you have to pass more amount of electricity. Now, suppose you have passed <coughs> q coulomb of electricity suppose you have passed q coulomb of electricity and suppose w gram of substance is deposit on your electrode money after passing q coulomb of electricity w gram of substance is deposited at the electrode then according to the first law you can write w is directly proportional to q i mean q is the electricity w is the amount of substance deposit the amount of substance deposit is directly proportional to the amount of electricity passed through the solution when you remove the proportional sign when you put equal sign then a constant will come z z into q this z constant it is called electrochemical equivalent this z constant is called electrochemical equivalent now w is proportional to q i mean amount of substance is directly proportional to the amount of electricity when you remove the proportional sign a constant will come that represent by z and z is called electrochemical equivalent so what is q q means the charge or amount of electricity now if i ampere of current if i ampere of current 
is pass is if i ampere of current is pass for t second time suppose t second if i ampere of current is pass for t second then you can write q is equal i into t i mean electricity is equal current into time so there is uh, some point of difference you know it this is electricity q means charge or electricity and i means current both are different electricity and current both are different what is the relation between electricity and current q is equal i into t i mean how much current you pass for how much second you just multiply the current with time then you will get the electricity q so then instead of q you can write i into t i mean in terms of current you can write w is equal you can write w is equal z i t this is according to first law what is w w means amount of substance deposit what is z z is a constant called electrochemical equivalent what is i i means current and what is t t, t means time so in your question if directly electricity is given you can apply this equation w is equal z into q and if current is given then you can apply w is equal z i t in some questions you have to find out the amount of substance deposit then you have to apply this equation w is equal z i t if current and time is given now if suppose i is equal 1 ampere if i is equal 1 ampere time equal 1 second suppose i 1 ampere time 1 second then what you can write then you can write w is equal z I mean I1 T1 that's why W equal Z. So how to define electrochemical equivalent Z? Electrochemical equivalent Z is defined as the amount of substance deposit or liberate when 1 ampere of current is passed for 1 second. So to define the constant Z, Z is defined as the amount of substance deposit at the electrode when 1 ampere of current is passed for one second like this way you can define z and in numerical if you want to uh, find out z z is you can find out like this way also z is equal equivalent mass of the substance divided by faraday this is one of the formula to determine z <coughs> what substance is deposit that substance equivalent mass you have to take here and you have to divide that by Faraday. There is a value of Faraday. I will tell you later. When you do equivalent mass by Faraday, then you will get Z. I will tell you how to determine equivalent mass. What is the value of Faraday? I will tell you later. But if you want to find out Z, by using this formula, equivalent mass by Faraday, you can find out the value of Z. So this is according to the first law. According to the first law, the amount of substance deposited or liberated at any electrode is directly proportional to the amount of electricity passed through the solution. So that means you can write W proportional Q. W means amount of substance deposit. Q means amount of electricity. When you remove the proportional sign, a constant will come Z. So W equals ZQ. Z is called electrochemical equivalent. Now, if I ampere of current is passed for T second, then Q is equal, you can write I into T. I mean the equation you can write W is equal Z I T. If I is equal 1 ampere, T equal 1 second, then you can write W is equal Z. That means electrochemical equivalent is defined as the amount of substance deposit or liberate when 1 ampere of current is passed for 1 second. So this is about the Faraday's first law. Thank you.